um, hello everyone, today we're doing another video. This video is, this is, this is Easter video number two. I have got at least one more coming because I want to do Easter food for 24 hours. But then I've been thinking, I'm not sure what I'm going to be eating. So I might not do that if I can't actually think of anything substantial to eat. I don't want to go hungry. But after Easter, I'm going to be doing pink food for 24 hours. And I want to make some sort of Easter cake. But I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure on that what to do. If you can see my laptop, laptop in the background, I'm currently uploading a video. Well, it's going to be, well, it's uploading, but it's going to be, but I've scheduled it for 4pm because it's only half 11 in the morning. And it is the baked bean and sausage casserole. And I've also got another video edited to go up, which is the hot crust buns. And if you haven't seen my previous video with hot crust buns, they are right here. This video today is actually not going to be that short. It's quite a quick video, I would say, today. These are my hot crust buns. They're the only ones that are left. There's three left. And I made them made it Tuesday morning. And I made them Friday afternoon. Or the Thursday afternoon. Friday afternoon. I think it was Friday afternoon. So today I'm boiling some water because today we're making chocolate nests. Chocolate Easter nests. And oh my goodness, I love these. I love, 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 love these. These are like my favourite things ever. And this is something, I'm going to move this bottom away because it's huge. And this space, as I keep saying, isn't very big. This is huge. So if you do like to see these to 24 hours, please leave some ideas of what I can have as well. So this video is like the best video ever. I just... This is something that's quick, easy, I say quick, you said quick to set, quick to make and anyone can be involved. I think that's what's good about these. And I love this type of video. And this reminds me of Easter so much. So, yeah, we're going to make some. That is actually left of, well not left of a tea, but tea that I made at 10am. But believe it or not, I got up at 10 a.m. today, which is a rarity for me if you actually know me. I'm gonna move that off there because it gets a bit hot. So all you really need this is something for this is something for kids, something for all the family. So all you so I went to the shop to buy three things, and they only had two of what I needed. So I had to improvise a little bit. So the first thing I did was I went to go and get some mini eggs, but I'm not convinced to have enough. I got one bag and now I'm thinking, I want to put three on each. I might not have enough. So, it's a solid milk chocolate egg. You can get white versions of these. The shop over the road didn't have them. So, I might, it's only a tiny bit, so I might like them. I only like white chocolate, as you know. And then I got, we're going to do some dairy milk ones, because not everyone in my family. I only like white chocolate, and my mum only likes milk chocolate. So, doing a bit of both. So I just got one back. I don't want loads and loads and loads. Because we've still got hot cross buns to eat. And I'm planning on making Easter cake. Probably Easter is literally next week on Sunday. About 10 days as I'm filming this. And I haven't been uploading much recently. I've only done like 12 videos this year, which is really bad. I should have done 12 in just January. So I'm actually doing so many more videos at the moment. So it's meant to be three a week, three to four a week. I don't think I've done three in a week in this year, so we're going to make that happen. They didn't have, do you know you can buy the dairy milk, no, um, milky bar, milky bar, you can get white chocolate milky bars, which I buy a bit. They're the bars I always buy when I'm in like Sainsbury's or whatever. Shop over the road, which is like a post office, select convenience shop. They didn't have a bar of white chocolate, so I just had to get some milky bar buttons and pray that's enough. So I've got two bowls, one for each. And I'm using, I'm going to be using shreddies because I don't have any shredded wheat. And the shop over the road, the shop over the road, actually, they had Weetabix, Special K, shreddies, and they had white chocolate cocoa pops. But they didn't have, that was a bowl already, which is nice. So I could start melting some chocolate in here. So they didn't have any shredded wheat. And it doesn't take much time to break them up. I don't think we've got enough. I might try one to see if they're alright. Hmm. I don't know if I've 
got enough white chocolate either, but... If we don't have enough milk chocolate, and um, um, milk, um, Easter... I don't even know what to call it. Let me just change that slight. It's not going to stay, is it? If I don't have enough mini eggs, they might have to do like one or two on each, but the plan was to do three. So the water's boiling already. Oh yeah, do not, and I stress, that the amount of time I stress Do not, do not, do not put chocolate in the microwave because it burns. And I mean it burns, it burns. So if I'm going to put, I've got like a sealed um, freezer bag. This is what I call the best way to do this. My box is pretty full. I mean, I stopped. As soon as I knew I was doing this video, I'm like, I can't eat anymore, I can't eat anymore, but save them for a video. I think I've only eaten. The thing is, you can't fill it too much. If you fill it too much, the bag will burst. If you put too many in, the bag will burst. So I would say about half the bag. This is what I figure the best. If you've got cornflakes, you don't even have to crush them. You can do some cornflakes, shredded wheat, shreddies. I would say that's probably enough for now. I'm going to split them between the two bowls once all the chocolate melted. Every time I melt chocolate, I usually do. And um, I usually do time lapse it. Yeah, I haven't got much white chocolate at all. Now it's like basically melted. I haven't really got any white chocolate, but as I said, three or four will probably be enough anyway. And now what we do? See, this is how I normally do these. I don't think I've ever done. This, I don't think I've ever done this for a video, but I have definitely made these before. And I would say a few times. So that's the white one done. Now we're going to do the milk one, but this one requires breaking up. I, if you know me, I only like white chocolate. So even the smell of this is a bit... I don't know whether to decorate, like do a bit of decorating for Easter, but I don't really know what to do. So I may or may not do that. See, one, it's not really enough one bar. We should have probably, I should have probably, I should have probably got two of everything rather than one of everything. I need to be quick. I don't want the chocolate to start setting before I've got any. Um, should do. So what you do, you get a big rolling pin and you bash. You basically just bash it. Be careful because you don't want to break the bag. I especially because it was the last bag in the packet. I think I burst the bag. I burst the bag somewhere because it's all coming out. I say that, but I don't actually know where they're coming out. water's boiling properly before you and this is one of the smaller hobs so this is one of the smaller rings and if you go to the floor it's not a huge big deal because I am mopping the floor well I'm meant to be mopping the floor today I don't know whether I've got enough you need to crush them up so they're like tiny 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 I don't know if I crush up enough. You can always do more because I think I've got about half a box left. 
and then simply all you do oh this is definitely enough shredded wheat shredded in here because as he said I didn't really have many didn't really have much white chocolate so didn't really have much white chocolate so there might be too much shredded in here but it's a bit late now last time I did it I didn't put anywhere near enough shredded in because a little bit of chocolate a little tiny bit like a tiny tiny amount of like a tiny tiny like a tiny tiny amount like a small amount of sh chocolate can take up quite a lot of shreddies so you, it does need so I'm gonna put these are my cupcake things and I couldn't actually reach them for the top shelf I could get the ladders out but these are quite, these are the new ones we've got and they're actually quite eastery because I like flowery. They're actually flowery so I'm going to do three orange ones and three pink, three white ones. I actually, they're quite spring-like and you want to fill them basically to the top. This dark chocolate, well milk chocolate, I don't think anyone, actually no my sister likes dark chocolate. No, there's no way she would eat one of these. Give it like another minute. And then you just seal them up like so. I think I'm only going to get three out of the white one. Which is fine because I don't know if I really want more than three. I am getting two Easter eggs this year. Well, I might, I will. Two that I know of. Two that I know of, so I could be getting more. I've been asked by a few people. I filled three just about. That actually tastes quite nice. Now I'm going to open the Let's see how many I've got. I'm going to do three on each. This is a whole family activity, which I think is quite nice. Especially you've got little kids, obviously. The hot cross buns are probably a bit hard for them. I don't know if there's enough shreddies in here or what. I feel like it probably could have taken more shreddies. But what went in? Might have try one. Not like that, but I really like the hot ones, obviously. Now let's take this bowl. And that bowl still, that bowl still quite hot. And we're going to put this bowl down. I reckon it can take. I I think I've got less shreddy here than I did in the last one. As I said, it takes some tape. We do want a good amount of I don't know whether you want to eat I don't know the, the exact portion, but I would say you want similar amounts of both. Now I'm gonna make these ones, but I I actually think we need more shreddies in this, but it might fall apart a bit. Yeah, we can probably make more than three of these. I 
I actually just want to eat it straight away. That's how nice the white chocolate ones look. Oh, bollocks. Definitely, um, I feel like more shreddies should have gone in this, but I'm sure they'll taste all right. I can do a fourth one of these. These are math. Let's do a f I'm going to tip it in, but the bowl, I'm going to have to be quick, and I've got to make sure it goes in. I didn't do that very well, as you can possibly tell. Yeah, there's not enough white, because as you can see, I'm not done yet, obviously, because I need to put more eggs on, but can you see that the white ones aren't anywhere near as full as the other ones? Now I'm gonna put three on it. I actually didn't make I actually didn't get that many out of. I made seven. But obviously you can do more. I think it should have I think it could have taken more shreddies. I'm definitely gonna I don't know how long these take. They probably take like two or three hours. I don't think I've actually made them since last Easter, but all I would say is, I don't know if I'll be able to wait long. You know, like when you make something and you just want to eat it. I actually don't particularly want any mini eggs left over. exact amount for one more but I don't have one more egg so I might put four on the I put four on some so then and that is it so that is now going to go into the fridge for approximately two hours and then we can um just until they go hard so i'll see you in a bit as soon as they set really done i think it took about an hour and a half what did i do in the hour and a half uh uploaded well, scheduled two videos and nothing else. But in hindsight, I'm gonna have to try one and then go for a run because I couldn't leave the house knowing that these were here. So they actually didn't take as long as I thought they would take. So I'm gonna try. Let's go for the smallest ones. I am about to run. Let's give it a bite. Oh my god, these are so nice. One thing I would say is don't overset them. And then be rock hard. And this, I know, I think because it's quite simple and quite nice and so easy, it's got to be like nine or ten. There's that. So I'm going to finish this. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and let me know any more Easter videos you want me to film. And yeah, Easter content coming. There's so much. There's so much more Easter content coming. So yeah. <laughs>